Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I will show you how you can import product with multiple asin to WooCommerce as, as a variable product. So to do this, you will need to install our Chrome extension. You can see uh, the first video of this playlist. We show how to install the Chrome extension and how to config configure it and connect it to your store. Once the Chrome extension is installed and it's already configured, you can open any product page and you should see the following three buttons displayed next to the title. The first button is to import a single asin. And the second one is to import multiple asin related to this following asin. On today's video, we'll be using this button here. We click on the button and we have this model displayed on the screen. All these tabs here allow to customize the product before the import. So you can change anything you want from general description, gallery, reviews, additional details, product. But for today's video, we'll be concentrating on this tab variations. So we arrive here, we have this page. We click on load next 20 variation. This action will load the next 20 variation out of the total variation that you see right here. So this product have 173 variations. We click on this button to load the first 20 variation. So this can take a couple of seconds. We see that each time there is new variation loaded, it will be displayed here. We did not provide the possibility to load all the variation because loading 173 variation at a single time will take a really very long time. So the user can load them 20 by 20, and each time he will see the counter increasing from here. When the 20 are done, the loading spinner will be will disappear and the user can load the next 20 variation. He can also just only load the first 20 or the first 40 variations and he can import his product. So today's feature, we'll be using this button here. The difference between this button and the rest of the button that we see right here is that this button here will import the current variation as a single product. We have already made a video for this. This button will import this variation as a single affiliate product. This one will import this variation as a single dropshipping product. This one will import all variations as separate products. So we will have around 20 products. When you click this button here, all of them will be affiliate products. This button is similar to this one, but all the products will be dropshipping simple products. The difference with this button is that this button will import only one single product, but with all this variation as variation related to the product itself. So once we load the 20 variation, you can load the next 20 variation, but we will not do on this video to make the video shorter we can open the advanced setting we can make many changes so we can apply the sharp pricing the sharp pricing will add this 00 at the end the sharp pricing with 99 will add this format to the pricing this variation is not valid so we remove it because as you see the price is minus sometimes it can happen if the variation is not available so we can remove the variation that does not exist for example on this case we have a couple of variations that does not exist this one as well this one this one and the rest of variation should exist once that's done, we can click on the button here and we will wait for a couple of seconds. If you have a good hosting plan, this operation should be fast. If you have not a good hosting plan with low resources, this operation can take longer time. And if it reaches the timeout, it can give you errors. How can we recognize these errors? Is that the product is imported, but we'll see that it's out of stock. If you see that the product is imported, but it is out of stock, try to contact your hosting provider to increase the timeout, PHP timeout, and to also to increase some resources. Okay, the product is there, it's in stock, so everything is fine. We have the price as a variable price. It starts from 14 to 78. We will open the product and see what we got. Note that we did not change anything on the other tabs, but we can do anything we want. We see the product, and as you can see, it's variable product. Here we have the title, the price from 14 to 78. Here we have the size and the colors. So we can change between them and when we don't see the price this means that the variation does not exist for example when you have the size 7 and the color black phantom and castle Castel rock the price is 69.99 you can the end user can add this product and pay on your store here we see the description here we see the reviews we have 60 reviews that are loaded you can even load more reviews if you want and here we have the additional information so this was all about importing variable product we have made already a video about how to import separate product for variation as a fleet product and a video of importing separate product as dropshipping product. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.